Bernardo will be so mad if we make him late. And I want to dance. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be looking at the greatest dance moments each year from 2000 until 2023. Not salsa, not flamenco, my brother. Do you know? Not to? 2000, Cooper's Ballet, Center Stage. Just dance like you feel it. Easy as that, huh? With so many wonderful dances to choose from for the first year of the new millennium, we were always pretty sure it would be this one. While we love little Billy Elliot's angry dance, we just couldn't get over the way Cooper's ballet from center stage makes us feel. If I was a The ballet starts much like many others, with girls in white tutus dancing daintily. But when a motorcycle revs in out of nowhere, things get a little more spicy. Go, girl. Go. From Michael Jackson to the steamy bedroom portion, to the emotional pas de trois, to the red-hot finale, this ballet has it all. It's sexy, creative, and plays by its own rules. Just the way we like it. Two thousand one, El Tango de Roxanne, Moulin Rouge. First, there is desire. Then, yes. Moulin Rouge is full of perfect pop songs, romance, glitter, and over-the-top opulence. It's also home to the best dance sequence of two thousand one. El Tango de Roxanne might be the darkest moment in the film, as Satine prepares to sleep with the Duke even though she doesn't want to, leaving poor Christian in despair. However, it's also the sexiest part of the film, featuring a delicious tango that eventually takes over the whole cast. Those dance moves paired with Ewan McGregor's dulcet tones, how could we not be in love? Two thousand two, Cell Block Tango, Chicago. Pop, six, squish, uh uh, Cicero, lip shit. If this dance doesn't make you want to murder your husband, we must not be listening to the same song. Chicago is one of the greatest movie musicals ever made, and a big reason for that is its stellar choreography. Nowhere is that more apparent than during the number Cell Block Tango. The song allows each female prisoner to tell the story of why, exactly, they murdered their husbands, before joining in with the rest of the group for a rousing choreographed masterpiece. After watching this jailhouse gem, we have to say, we probably would have done the same. I bet you, you would have done the same! You'd pop that gum Single one my more ass. time. Ten times. Number 17. Artistic eagle. differences. 2003, I believe, Honey. Dancing isn't what they do. It's who they are. And you come in here tonight says you want to get to know them. Some of the best dance movies combine genres, blending ballet, hip hop, jazz, and whatever else into one big beautiful pot. Honey is one of those movies. Honey stars Jessica Alba in the title role as a dance teacher who longs to be a hip hop choreographer. Caught between different worlds of dance, Honey eventually comes to realize that the kids at the community center are more important than fortune or fame. Those very kids perform one of the best dances in the film, set to the song I Believe. Every dancer has such joy in each movement that it's hard not to love. Two thousand four, thriller, thirteen going on thirty. Maybe if somebody played something other than this, something with a melody. Honey, play whatever you want to. All I know is for those people who don't start dancing really, really soon, 
Here's to early retirement. Listen, if we had to pick one actress to lead us in a flash mob version of Thriller, we would definitely pick Jennifer Garner. Mark Ruffalo? Not so much, but he's very cute for trying. 13 Going on 30 is the iconic romantic comedy from 2004 that follows 13-year-old Jenna Rink when she suddenly wakes up one day and discovers she's 30 after a wish gone wrong. Please listen to me. I'm 13! Jenna, if you're gonna start lying about your age, I'd go with 27. While attending an office party, Jenna decides she's had enough of the boring adults and decides to switch it up. She ends up leading an impromptu thriller dance, showing off her moves like it's still 1987. <laughs> 2005, La Vie Bohème. Rent. Hey Rosie, let's put these tables together. Slide down this way. Come on. No. No, 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 no. Sometimes you just have to get up and move. Rent isn't necessarily the danciest musical of all time, but there's just something about the unbridled chaos of La Vie Bohème that we can't get enough of. The scene takes place at a bar where the gang gathers to celebrate a few of their friends' most recent accomplishments. When they're confronted by an ex-comrade, they decide to let all hell break loose. La Vie Bohème is a celebration of life in all its various forms, and that celebration is more than evident in the way everyone grinds and shakes to the beat. Two thousand six, the showcase. Step up. Do you remember the steps? Couldn't forget them even if I wanted to. Partner dances really had a moment in two thousand six. For this entry, we could have gone with the sultry tango sequence from Take the Lead, but we thought it would be more fun to combine our favorite genres of dance into one. Step Up is one of our favorite movies of 2006, and the movie that put Channing Tatum on the map. The film follows a romance between Tyler and Nora, who have put aside their differences and work up a dance routine that combines both street dancing and ballet. The final product is propulsive and technically immaculate, and the chemistry between Tatum and Jenna Dewan is out of this world. Two thousand seven, the final battle, Stomp the Yard. Let's give them a remix. Hit me one more time, you. When it comes to big blowout dance sequences, two thousand seven was full of them. Central Park was overrun by dancers, and that's how you know from Enchanted. But even with its noted absence of adorable animals, the final battle sequence from Stomp the Yard still takes our breath away. The film ends with a huge stepping competition, where we have to watch our heroes the Thetas take on the Gammas in a sudden death round. The physical skill on display is out of this world, everything synchronized to a T and full of energy. I don't know about you, but I've never seen stepping like this before. This is crazy. 2008, Jay ho Slumdog Millionaire. I knew you'd be watching. I thought we'd meet again only in death. Slumdog Millionaire is a movie that takes on a lot of heavy themes, following the character of Jamal as he works through his tough family history and tries to find the love of his life, Latika. But even through all the darkness, Slumdog Millionaire manages to end on a note of hope. Then the movie kicks it up a notch with a dance over its end credits. <laughs> The scene is a nod to the traditions of Bollywood films. While the song's title can be translated to Let There Be Victory, it's a beautiful, triumphant note to end the film on. 2009, Tom Celebration, 500 Days of Summer. On a night Everyone loves a good dream ballet, 
or in this case, a dream morning after. 500 Days of Summer is an interesting little movie, filled with filmmaking tricks that set it apart from a run-of-the-mill romantic comedy. One of the best examples of that comes just after the moment the main characters, Tom and Summer, have sex for the first time. We don't actually see the two hook up, but we do see Tom burst out the door the next morning with a huge smile on his face. As he struts down the street to You Make My Dreams, the entire world joins in. Twenty ten finale Black Swan. How about I dance the Black Swan for you? It's hard enough to dance ballet as it is, now try doing it with a bleeding stab wound. Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan is a mesmerizing feat of horror, with a wonderful Natalie Portman performance at the center. The film culminates in Portman's character's obsession causing her to hallucinate and hurt herself before heading back on the stage to dance the world-famous ballet. As she spins around the stage, her delusions reach new heights as she appears to actually transform into the Black Swan herself. It's a dazzling feat of filmmaking. What? Perfect. That was perfect. 2011, tap dancing to the top, the artist. Perfect! <laughs> Beautiful. Can you give me just one more? Who doesn't love the old tap dancing sequences from classic Hollywood musicals? With virtuosos like Gene Kelly, Sid Charisse, Fred Astaire, and Ginger Rogers at the helm of those movies, it's hard to recreate that magic. But in 2011, the artist came pretty darn close. One of the most magical moments in the silent film is the tap dance scene shared between George Valentine and Peppy Miller. They might not have quite the prowess that those old pros do, but they certainly have the spirit. It's just too much fun to watch them tip and tap their way to the top. Twenty twelve competition Silver Linings Playbook. Everybody's got a thing, but some don't know how to handle it. Always remember, it's not about the competition, but the friends we made along the way. That's the spirit of this dance from twenty twelve Silver Linings Playbook. But we still love to watch the final dance as well. For the entirety of the film, we've been watching Pat and Tiffany fall in love as they prepare for a big dance competition that Tiffany desperately wants to win. But when Tiffany sees Pat's ex-wife in the audience, she thinks the worst. Nevertheless, the duo still do a pretty great job. Even if they're not the best dancers in the world, they have enough tension between them to power a small city. Thank you. I love you. 2013, Make an Entrance, The Great Gatsby. It's all this for? <laughs> That, my dear fellow, is the question. Sometimes dancing is all about control, but other times it's about letting go. This scene from Baz Luhrmann's The Great Gatsby is definitely the latter. The first time Nick enters into one of Gatsby's parties at his mansion, it's complete chaos. You want to talk about dances? About 20 separate choreographed dances are going on at this party, contributing to the pure outlandishness of it all. Whether they're dancing with feathers, over the indoor pool, or swinging from the ceiling, you can bet all these dances are ones to watch. Twenty fourteen, old school, step up all in. Sleep 
Since it began in 2006, the Step Up franchise has delivered us a plethora of amazing dance sequences. In 2014, we got yet another one with Step Up All In. The scenes start simply enough, with two characters just jamming out together in a seemingly abandoned spinning theme park ride. Little do they know, they have an audience, and he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. The guy operating the ride decides to give it a spin, sending our two dancers into a whirlwind of choreography. It's so much fun to watch them dance and twirl their way through the ride to an old school jam. Twenty fifteen, I want it that way. Magic Mike XXL. The best dance sequences are often full of intricate choreography and complicated moves, but they don't have to be. Sometimes all you need to do is make someone smile. Magic Mike XXL is one of the better road trip movies to come out of the 2010s, and this Joe Manganiello moment in a gas station is one of its best scenes. To make the depressed seeming cashier smile, Manganiello's character starts performing an impromptu strip tease to I Want It That Way. The whole thing is delightful, and obviously makes the woman smile, but we've got to shout out that moment with the water bottle. Go, Joe! Twenty sixteen, another day of sun, La La Land. Twenty sixteen was sneakily a pretty great year for musicals. We got to see Channing Tatum tapping his butt off in the Coen Brothers' Hail Caesar. And of course, we got the much lauded La La Land. La La Land takes a page out of the book of the Hollywood musicals of yesteryear, starring Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling as two kids trying to make it in Los Angeles. While the two stars share some great dancing moments throughout, the best dance sequence comes right at the film's beginning. While stuck in traffic on an LA highway, everyone starts to get out of their cars and dance beautifully down the street. Who among us hasn't wanted to do that? It's day of sun. 2017, from now on, The Greatest Showman. If home was lost, there's more I gain. Cause it led me back to you. 2017 was a great year because it was the year we finally got Hugh Jackman back on our screens in a musical capacity. Jackman appeared in The Greatest Showman and took us all by storm. Don't worry, Wolverine fans, he also appeared in Logan, a man of many talents. The Greatest Showman is a loose retelling of the life of P.T. Barnum, starring Jackman in the main role. There are so many wonderful dances throughout the film, but the greatest comes during From Now On. Jackman shows off his own moves while the rest of the extremely talented cast dance around him in increasingly acrobatic ways. It's fit for a circus. Twenty eighteen, Super Trooper, Mamma Mia, here we go again. Suddenly I feel all right. And it's gonna be so different when I'm on the stage tonight. Sometimes that old saying is true. Girls do just wanna have fun. And sometimes boys do too. Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again is the sequel to 2008's Mamma Mia, and is a delightful romp of a good time. After the plot of the movie ends, however, things kick into overdrive. Every single cast member, including the likes of Cher, Meryl Streep, and Pierce Brosnan, 
come back on screen for one more all-out party. As the cast dances and sings to ABBA's Super Trooper, it's hard not to move right along with them. It may not be the most complicated choreo in the world, but boy do they all sell it. Twenty nineteen criminal hustlers. Baby, this game is rigged. And it does not reward people who play by the rules. Yeah, they gotta stand in the corner or get in the ring. If Jennifer Lopez is involved, you best believe there's going to be some great dancing. Hustlers, which tells the true story of New York City exotic dancers who began stealing money from their rich clients, focuses on a different type of dancing. But that doesn't make it any less impressive. The moment Lopez's character Ramona is introduced, she stops the show. Dancing on the pole to Fiona Apple's Criminal, the sex appeal on display is matched only by the total strength it takes to pull off those moves. Lopez does it with ease, but never for a moment lets us forget how tough it is. What if you don't have muscles to do that? You have muscles to do this. I don't have any. Every girl has muscles to do this. 2020, Jake and Quinn work it. Baby, I'm not even in the I'm just in the t-shirt, I'm the cow. The way you want me makes me want you now. The only thing you have to say is... Not many dance-heavy films came out in the year 2020. Well, not many movies in general came out in 2020. But the dance ones were far and few between. Luckily, we got a classic high school dance comedy in the vein of Work It. You can't think your way through this. Quinn, you gotta let your body drive you. Starring Sabrina Carpenter, Work It follows Quinn, a senior who lies about being on her school's dance team to stand out to colleges. There are many great dance scenes in the film, but the best has to be this moment between Quinn and Jake, played by Jordan Fisher. The duet between them, set to the song Wow, is smooth and sexy. The way these two dancers work in tandem is something to behold. Twenty twenty one, dance at the gym, West Side Story. Since West Side Story first debuted on the Broadway stage in 1957, the dance at the gym has been one of the most famous dance sequences in the whole of the arts. Jerome Robbins' original choreography is in a class of its own. But with the 2021 remake, Justin Peck was able to take that original choreo and make it his own. It's a huge choreographed sequence with a ton of moving parts. There are lots of extras, not to mention the fact that an actual camera has to follow the movement as well. While Peck's choreography is amazing, Steven Spielberg's prowess as a director is really on display here. Twenty twenty two, not to not to, R R R. If one movie took us all by storm in 2022, it was India's RRR. The action film became a huge worldwide hit and even got a little love at the Oscars that year for its original song, Natu Natu. While we love the song itself, the real gem is the dance that goes along with the song. While attending a party, our main characters Beam and Ram are insulted by a white man. They decide to get back at him the best way they know how, dance. What happens next is a high-energy, incredibly intricate dance sequence as Beam and Ram show everyone what they're made of. Eventually, everyone joins in, and we're left with one massive dance party. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. 
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 2023, I'm Just Ken, Barbie. Oh, I, I have feelings that I can't explain. Driving me insane. 2023 was the year of Barbenheimer, but when it comes to dancing, Barbie was the film that really made its mark. There are so many odes to old Hollywood musicals throughout Barbie, but our favorite is Ryan Gosling and the rest of the Kens dancing to I'm Just Ken. I'm just Ken, anywhere else I'd be a ten. Is it my destiny to live and die a life of blonde fragility? <laughs> Yes, the lyrics are funny, and yes, it's delightful to watch an all-out Ken war. But the real dance component of the sequence comes into play like a true blue dream sequence. On a set that looks like it was plucked straight out of Singing in the Rain, the Kens dance and shimmy their way to liberation. Or something like that. If we missed your favorite dance sequence from 2000 to 2023, let us know in the comments below. I'm not used to being spoken to like that by a man I met once at a railway station. I dare say, but if I'm not to dance with you, then I'm getting out of this operetta and going home. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.